Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema, and in this episode, we will be discussing how to make the Twitch effect in Sony Vegas, as you saw in the beginning, if I included the example. Um, so, yeah, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. I just grabbed some free stock footage of, of cookies baking, because why not? Cookies are amazing. Um, so anyway, what you want to do is start off with your clip in Sony Vegas and split the part um, that you want to be twitched. Um, so as you can see here, I have split on both ends of just a little tiny snippet of uh, what I want to be twitched. And this, I am working in 24 frames per second, by the way, um, which is kind of like a film standard. Um, so my clip is, I think, about 9 frames long, as you can see here. Um, it's, yeah, 9 frames long. So just to get you an idea of how long this twitch is going to be. This is different from the example, um, barely. I tried to make it similar, but it's not going to be the exact same. Okay, um, enough jabbering. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you know how to keyframe, this is going to be relatively easy for you. Um, but let's also just first start off, go into your project properties. Um, now, you can leave everything the same. Uh, uh, I'm assuming that you have all your settings aligned with your video clip. And go into the stereoscopic uh, 3D mode. And as you can see, I've turned on the anaglyphic mode and I've chosen red and cyan now in the example you can kind of see the clip tear apart a little bit and it go into the red and cyan um, so rewatch that if you want to see that so I I chose it um, for that reason because it looks it looks more um, used often um, you could try the amber blue and the green magenta but I recommend just going with the red cyan because that's kind of like a standard um, in this twitch effect so once you have that change nothing else um, and click OK and you should notice that hey like all the color in my clip has went away um, that's something that happens when you change the anaglyphic mode so or the anoscopic I can't remember so what you want to do is you want to go into video effects and to get your color back you're gonna go to saturation ad adjust and you're going to um, choose default or reset to none for some people. And you want to drag that on either the entire clip, which I have it split, so it's kind of annoying. So I'm just going to drop it onto my video track. Now, you'll see that you have a bunch of options that will pop up. What you want to do is you want to change nothing but the low. And you want to bring the low all the way up to 1. And as you can see, I'll change it again in my clip. It's going to get all the color back. Now, for the sake of... Uh, having a faster playback I'm not actually gonna do that so I'm gonna actually remove the saturation adjust because um, my frame rate is already pretty slow as uh, as before doing that um, so anyway now that we've got that done let's go ahead and open up the event pan crop pan crop of our uh, clip that we want to be twitched so you can either click the icon or right click and video event pan crop so what you're going to want to do is, if you're unfamiliar with keyframing, make sure you're on the first keyframe, um, or the keyframes are down here, and these, there's little diamonds down here. Um, so for the first keyframe, what we're going to want to do is uh, scale down our image just a little bit. Um, doing it, the more you scale it down, the weirder the twitch effect is going to be, but you want to get it at least a good bit. Um, and you want to make sure that the locked aspect ratio is on or else you're going to get uh, some weird stretching. Um, so anyway, once you've done that, uh, make sure that on this option is correct here and it's the sync cursor option and you want to make sure that's pressed, sorry. Um, and so what that does is you can actually move along in um, the video preview and it syncs up with your event pan crop. Okay. So once we're in the beginning of our event pan crop, we can actually scroll two frames using these buttons over here. Um, and let's go ahead and move our video down to the bottom right corner. You can choose any corner or whatever. Um, and then go maybe two more frames. And let's change it to the top right corner. Go two more frames. Try the top left corner. Um, I'm going to scroll out of my event pan crop so we can see the whole timeline. Um, go two more frames, go down, and then at the last frame, I'm going to right click, and this is important, on the last frame, right click and hit restore. 
So you can actually do whatever you want. You can mess around and see what works best for you. Um, and you want to do on the last frame, always right click and restore it. Um, so make sure that when you were dragging along, these keyframes were uh, made. Okay, so that's actually uh, the very beginning. And you can go ahead, I'm going to actually do a RAM preview of what we've done and uh, show you what it looks like. So as you can see, just it just shakes around. Um, and that looks all right. Um, as long as you have a sound effect, it, it looks a lot. It sounds a lot better with the sound effect, but I'm not going to play that for you because it's going to be annoying. Um, but what's gonna, what we're going to do next is actually going to make it way better. So actually, uh, insert a video track above the track that you're using, and you're going to want to copy and paste the clip that we have split. So you can either do Control C and Control V, or right click, uh, copy, right click, paste. Um, now it's important that you copy and paste it after we do the event pan cropping because this clip needs to have the exact same pan cropping. So if we go in there, the keyframes are going to be there. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go in back into our video effects and find stereoscopic 3D adjust and drag the default or uh, reset to none on the clip that we just pasted. Now you're gonna <clears throat> excuse me. You're going to see some options here, but you're going to want to open the corrections tab, or at least you can, um, and I'll be more specific. So let's, okay, I'm hovering over um, the clip so we can see it. So c take a look at my preview window when I change the zoom here. Once I zoom in, you're going to see then we get our nice blue and red effects here. Um, you can also change the horizontal offset. You can really... Um, create some interesting effects here. So I like to do the zoom a little bit and the horizontal a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so what you're going to do now is actually fade this entire clip. Um, and if you are unfamiliar with how to do that, what you do is, oops, you just take the top right corner of the clip and until you see this little fade offset pop up and then you drag it all the way to the left. So what's this going to do? It's just going to lower the opacity over the extent of the whole clip and basically uh, get rid of the cyan and red effect over time. Um, you can actually right click the fade or the actual clip and choose the fade type and I like to do a straight line. That's just a smooth um, transition all the way through. So now if we actually um, I'm going to RAM preview this by Shift B. Um, if you hold Shift and hit B, it'll RAM preview whatever you've selected um, in your loop region. And if I press Enter, we can see the effect. So pretty cool stuff. Let me actually put it on loop so you can see it a few times. Um, so that's a very good effect, uh, Twitch effect. I actually like that better than the example I did earlier. Um, and now what we could do is actually add our Twitch effect or our Twitch uh, noise. Um, and you will get this, uh, there will be a link in the description. Hopefully the download will still be up. If it's not, just Google, you know, Twitch effect free. Um, and I'm just going to add some random part of it, and I'm going to decrease the volume for the sake of uh, your guys' hearing. And let's play it now. Pretty cool stuff. And, um, yeah, like I said, make sure you do the saturation adjust on your video. Um, and make sure you do the saturation adjust on both video uh, timelines or else this top clip is actually not going to have the saturation adjust um, but anyway that is about it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a like if you learned something uh, comment if you have any questions and also comment if you have any tutorial suggestions uh, thanks for watching guys this has been Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema